Dun dun dun! We've got a big project ahead of us. Oh yes. Computers, gaming, retro gear, devices, tech reviews, and more. Keeping off with Android. All right, here. You've got a server rack mount case. Of course, that's going to be going into it. Here's the rack mount. It's the rack itself. Um, here we got the power distributor, a couple of Raspberry Pi power supplies, Ethernet cables in different color, um, a new switch to go into this bad boy. And um, we've got to take at least half of this apart because I want to dust out the computer, the main computer. And I want to get some cable management going on here and kind of clean up this whole desk, dust everything off. And of course, get this computer into here. This makes me a little bit nervous. There is a hole in this box. Well, let's go ahead and start cutting her open. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. We've got... Wow. Wow, that's some really good packing. Well, it looks like the dent in the box. So I don't see anything in the case. Looks like we're all right. Holy cow, this is a monster. Oh, it's not as heavy as it looks. Just we already get out of here. All right, we got it out of the box. It's time to take off the plastic. Fun plastic. Ooh, look at that fan. Just the front of it. Yeah, yep, it survived shipping. Got a window in it, which has got a piece of, I don't know, protective papering on it maybe? Yeah, that's what it is. It's got a lock. Looks like it's got some parts in here. Cool. Parts are always good. We'll check those out in a second. Um, I guess some structures on a piece of paper. I don't know. Um, in the bottom hole, wire entrance there on the side for you to put your wires in. Of course, you can bring it in from the back. Um, looks like it's, it's a nice bag actually. Keys are in the bag and all of our mounting gear. And that's time for the computer case, the rack mount case. Ah, go ahead and this one, it's a box is a box. Look at that. That's what you call good shipping. Got a small box of parts in here. Looks like some drive bays. And screws. Let's go ahead and unplastic this. Pull off the plastic. Ooh, yeah, it looks nice. Look at that. See? It's got two um, long drive bays there and uh, two USBs in the front, reset, and a power switch. The buttons, we've got everything from Ethernet 1, 2, and 3. Reset power. Now time for our 8 um, PDU power distributor. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Alright, what we got inside the box? Well, that's it. Just a power distributor. <laughs> Here's the front. Power switch. Feels kind of strange. Then you got a surge and a ground. All your plugs go into the back. Looks like a nice cable. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, some serious power. Okay, next we got the TP-Link Reliable Choice. It is the model TLSG108. It's an eight port switch. Let's go ahead, cut her open. Here we go. Oh! First we got paperwork and the switch. And it looks like, as again, a box full of tools, uh, not tools, screws, and power plug. Unsacking her. All right, there we go. On the back is where the power goes in, and that's it. And in the front, we got LEDs telling us what um, channels are being used, and here's all of our different channels, or ports. So there we go. A little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. 
supposed to come with, ah, oh, here they are. These are for the rack mount to make it fit in, the, in a bigger rack mount. Okay, and last but not least is our two Raspberry Pi power adapters from um, Canakit. And that's it. Of course, you can't hook up a network without colored network cables. <laughs> we got a green, a red, a blue, and a black. Okay, we've got boxes everywhere. Yep. Now it's time to get all this stuff off of there and um, get that bad boy up on there. Probably have to push the desk over a bit. Time to size her up and see how she's gonna fit up on there. Perfect, actually. I was not expecting it to fit on that just perfectly. Look at that. I thought it was an overhang. Perfect fit. This is going to work out great. So I'm getting this put together here. Got the power in here. And check this out. It won't go in there because it's hitting the fan. So one of those things the designer should have put it a little further back than that. Now I've never done this before, but these are the screws that come with it. And then they came with these. I'm guessing these screws go through here go to the front of the device and this is what you screw into in the back I got her in there now a little trick I learned with what these things are they actually just snap in here like this like that and ta -da! now it's time to put the brackets onto the switch here and there we go brackets are installed all right let's mount her in the rack the switch is now installed one plug anyways to get the internet um, next we've got to move the server from the old case into the new one I just got the cover off the case um, in this case we get a lot of front panel uh, plugs uh, power for the fans and USB hub plug and it's got this cool uh, there's no screws for the CD-ROM drives motherboard in the case. I decided to hide all the other wires except for a fan plug and reset power USB and uh, power LEDs. So we're going to go ahead and put our LO shield in there. Uh, in the board. See how she wants to go in there. Backwards. There we go. Well, when you just think things are going good, you find out you're going to need more supplies and you hit a stopping point and you can go no further. So I'm going to have to do some ordering. First one will be have to be a different power supply. As you can see, the fan is going to be right where the case closes and it's kind of indented out so the case won't close. And it probably is not a smart idea to close the case with the fan <laughs> that's air vent blocked off. So. Need a power supply. Um, so far, everything else went in good. I uh, was at the point of installing the hard drives, then I decided to test it out in here. Well, another problem. I'm going to need to get a Dremel tool because the case comes out a little bit further and it's just a smidgen too short. So I'm going to have to cut this out a little bit on each side to make this case fit. And it's probably going to be the same way for the firewall case as well. So I've got to order me a Dremel tool or a rotary tool kind of a thing. I'm just going to finish up, put these hard drives into the little caddy thingies and just kind of set them in here and wait for my order to come in. And of course a power supply that has a, a rear fan too as well. So I've reached my stopping point so I guess it's time to uh, wrap up what I can today and we'll continue on when I get the parts. My parts came in today. We've got a, a way to hook up those two other fans now. Power adapter that. And we got um, a SATA power splitter. I'm gonna be adding an extra hard drive and another thing you're gonna see here. A thing to modify the uh, rack mount here so this case can fit in here. Um, this was an extra idea I just saw and I saw it on Amazon. You know what? 
and eventually I'm going to put a six gigabyte hard drive in here and that's going to go into here. And of course the power supply that I was lacking before. Hopefully this is the right one and I don't have to order any more parts after today. I guess we'll find out. Um, I've decided to do some changes here. I was looking at how the cables were going to go. I was originally going to route these up like this, but I think what I'm going to do is move this down by one and the stuff that I was originally, the Raspberry Pis that I was going to lay in the bottom, I'm going to put them up here and get another rack tray in here for those. And this one's going to go to the bottom so the wire can kind of connect and go through the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and rearrange that and we'll check back with you. All right, this configuration is going to be a lot better. That way all my wires can go underneath here, then my main server here, PFSense will be under here, then I can put a rack up in here for the Raspberry Pis. All right, we got the new power supply in. I had to do some modifications with the rotary tool, so it came in handy. I had to install the power supply upside down and drill new holes for it and kind of do that um, because this particular cable here was way too short because of how it's located here when it was on the other side. It was just an inch short, so I had to modify that. Got some cables in here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do my cable management, but I think before I move forward, I think I got enough here. I can go ahead and do a smoke test and see if this thing's gonna fire on up. Okay, we got our at least hooked up mouse, keyboard. I think it's getting power because the mouse is already lighting up, so that's a good sign, I guess. Here we go, smoke test. Okay, CPU fan is on. Good sign. Three fans inside are not on except for one. So I've got to figure that out. Um, see if we post. Well, we got a light on over here. Oh, looks like the monitor's kicking in. And it's live. Okay, this is the best I'm going to be able to do because I can't really stuff any wires under here because of the fans. And the reason why those two fans didn't work because I didn't have it plugged into here. So I can't really like tuck that under here. Maybe I can move it after I get the, the drives in there. So that's our uh, next step. Okay, let's go ahead and get the CD-ROM drive in there. Now the case came with these and it looks like I'm guessing, I'm not sure which way to put them on here yet. So this is gonna be trial and error. I'm just gonna put them this way and see if she goes in. It stopped. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It stopped right there. Okay, perfect. All right. Now it's time to unbox this bad boy. Now, the reason why I got this is because I wanted future expansion for the, um, uh, for more hard drive space in the future, but don't want to have to, you know, take the case, you know, the rack out of the case and all that fun stuff. And, Oh, cool. Came with some keys. Of course. Oh, cool. I didn't need these. I actually bought extras, but you never know. It included it. I mean, the same thing with the set of cables. So now we got double the pleasure. Screw mount holes, which we won't need because this is self containing ordeal here. Feels kind of cheap and flimsy. I'm guessing these are power. Yeah. So this is the part we'll need here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Do it like this. Pop her in. Ooh, that's really flimsy. I don't like that. But you gotta deal with what you gotta do because there's like these springs in here. This is vibration protection, maybe. Okay, slide her in. And she's in. Her down. Let's go ahead and button this up and get her in the rack. Um, I don't know if this works yet, but I guess we'll eventually find out when we get a hard drive port because I'm fresh out of hard drives because I'm using them all. Let's close her up. Okay, so it's not fitting in there all the way, but I kind of made some markers here on the back of where I'm going to i uh, use my Dremel tool, my rotary tool, to cut notches in here. And that'll also help to support this too in here as well. 
So that'll be tomorrow. I'm taking a break for tonight and we'll continue on later on. Okay, I got my marker set of where I'm gonna cut. And I got the Dremel tool. <laughs> well, this just broke. I can't use it anymore because I stripped this little screw part here so I can't put any more wheels on it. I at least got one side done. So this side to do. So I've got to find a better tool. It took me like two hours just to do that because the metal is a lot thicker than I thought it was. And it's just eating up everything I put through it and making a big mess. So why couldn't the designers have made this hole just, you know, a half an inch smaller on each side? Grr. All right, so now I decided to take everything out of it and we're gonna go and take it over to dad's place and let him bring up the big boy tool. Dang, killed a blade. Yep. This thing is just eating it up and all. We're not sure what kind of metal it is, but it is a serious, sick deal here. It's, uh, can't say a Chinese piece of shit. <laughs> you cut that right. We're good. And I've got a plan to clean this up. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to find something to go around the edge of the back of the uh, server rack and I'm looking at this. I'm debating between this here, you can put this along the edge and give it a nice soft edge and there's a thinner one here. Or, or this and just kind of fold it over. Only problem is the corners might be an issue. So, I guess it couldn't hurt. Maybe I'll just buy both. And of course, need some type of glue. Okay, got our felt. We're going to put it onto here. I bought two sheets of it, but I really think uh, I might be able to do it with one. So I'm going to kind of put this on here like this and fold her over. There you go. That should keep the edges from cutting you. I also ordered this. It's the rack that's going to go on the top for the pies. Yeah, so I want to install that. Get everything back into it and get back to where I was. She fits. It fits nicely now. Got one slot left for my firewall. Pies will go up here. And it actually doesn't hang out too bad on the back. It's gonna work. I like it. We're all wired up except for the raspberry pies that are going up there, but I'll do that later. So here we go. On. Fans on. That's a loud fan. And Power. Power. It's linking up. There we go. She's online. <laughs> Perfect video for the subject at hand here. <laughs> cool. Alright, next mission is to get this desk cleaned up and get some cable management going on here. It is a mess. All cleaned up and that looks a lot better down there. Oh, I gotta fix that green light. But, got Mark Hyder video while he's watching Mark Hyder video over there in the hangout. And there's one last thing to do here. Peel off this. And there it is. So, in my next video of this project is going to be the PF Sense and finishing some stuff up here. But otherwise, we're done. We are good to roll. Yeah. So everybody, this is Anthony from Ampware, and from this time and every time on, folks, remember to keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Ampware, signing off.